So this should hopefully be really easy. I want to find a parametric equation for the intersection of the thing y equals x and the thing x squared plus y squared plus c squared is 4. Okay. You guys tell me about these. Well, you got you got a sphere with radius 2. Okay. Sphere there. This is a straight line. No. A plane. Plane. Right, remember that Z is unspecified there. Yeah. Right, so. So it's a plane. It's an intersect like four more than that would be a virtual turn. turn. You guys see that? Mm -hmm. So if you've got a sphere, right, and you snap a plane through it, the yeah. intersection of that's going to look like one of the great circles on the sphere, as long as their plane goes through the middle. Uh, cool? Mm -hmm. All right, so we'll try it with this easy one, and then we'll go to a harder one. So what would I do with this information of y equals x and this information? What does it mean to be on the intersection? Yeah, it means both of these work, right? Mm -hmm. So both y is x and this thing. So what are you going to do with that information? Plug, Plug in y. y. Yeah, yeah whichever. Cram one of these two in there, right? Yeah. Okay, so if I cram one of those two in there, I'm going to get 2x squared, two squared, four minus two. Two x squared plus z squared is 4. Mm -hmm. Okay. Solve for what? Make z equals the square root of 4 minus 2x. Okay. So z squared is 4 minus 2x squared. Or maybe that is the equation. Isn't that the first one the equation of the actual circle? Uh, that's it. That's the circle, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. But that's if the y is squished. Okay, so let me think about a vector here, right? So we are thinking of the y, y equals x. Yeah. Easy. So I, s so I had my sphere, right? And then I sliced this plane through it. And now I've got this thing. That's all you need, right? Right, and this thing tells me that 2x squared plus z squared is 4. So I want a parametric equation, right? So I'm hoping to get something like this. Maybe L's a crap choice here, right? Why is L a crummy choice? Yeah. yeah, it's really a circle, right? So let me call it circle of P. So you find the vector and the origin, do that. Okay, good. I want to find the vector from the origin out to this thing, right? And length would be 2 pi. Okay, so... How do you, how do you want to go around a circle? 2 pi. Yeah, what do you guys, you keep saying 2 pi. Well, wouldn't that Counter be t is 2 pi? <laughs> Counterclockwise. <laughs> Good. Yeah. So you want to run t from 0 to 2 pi, right? To traverse the circle once? Yeah. Okay, so w what are you thinking of t as then? t as theta then? Yeah, you think of t yeah, as an I mean, angle, not right? Not as a length. Yeah, not as a length. You need like an arc length. Okay, so if I want to think about t as an angle, hmm. You guys had a brilliant thought here yet? X equals R cosine theta or something like that? Or use that? Oh, that's a good idea. Okay. What if I did... Cos theta... What do I know about Y? Sine. Oh, sine theta. Wait. Sine theta? <laughs> yeah, I was thinking of it to make a full circle. Yeah, so if I wanted to make a circle in the XY plane, right? Yeah. I'd pick x is cosine theta, y is sine theta, and z is zero, yeah. right? Okay, but I want to make a circle in, in this kind of off plane, right? Yeah. yeah. Now, y goes between two. Look at this. What do you know about y? That equals x. So, so it would just be x, cosine right? theta. Yeah. So cos squared. Okay, so this better be cosine theta, right? 
Okay, see that? Okay. Okay, and then what do you know about Z? Z would just be yeah, a circle in the Yeah, okay, so there should be a circle in the Z's kind of direction, right? Well, from that equation right there, Z squared. Oh, no, no, no. I don't think that equation. Yeah, it doesn't help. It doesn't do it. This guy? Trig sub. Doesn't help you? Huh. And as that's far as maybe setting our initial steps for like one, getting the radius two, we want. Isn't that mm -hmm. the equation that I need? Because it is the part. It yeah, is or the, the z component. Or yeah, can't you just use z squared equals 4 minus 2x squared? And, and then set in. in. Sub in okay, so z theta. squared is this. So z squared is 4 minus 2 cosine, cosine squared theta. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then just take a square, and just take a square root. That's a z. Yeah. Right, sure. Yeah. yeah. Or you could take out. <laughs> take no, I don't know. Yeah. Hmm. If we take the square root and then. Mm. And then. Uh, yeah. See, there's a plus or minus problem, right? Yeah. You guys see that? Yeah. So if I try to force this, I'm running into a problem with the vertical line test, right? Yeah. Hmm. Other thoughts? What else could you exploit here? Well, you could it's exploit x squared plus y. No, never mind. Oh, wait. Well, um, but like, so it, it's basically two squared plus oh, y squared. A factor out. Yeah, oh. there should be some way to exploit radius, right? Yeah. yeah. You guys uh, see that? Yeah. Plus y squared plus y squared. Mm. Yeah. So I'm hoping I'm hoping that you you'll look at this thing and you'll want to say something like. Okay, if I had 4 times 1 minus cosine squared of theta. It, it doesn't become that, though. It's I know it doesn't. <laughs> but if I had this, what would I get? You would have sine, sine theta, squared theta. Sine squared theta. Sine squared theta, mm -hmm. right? And then I could call z... Sine squared theta. Right? Uh, yeah. If I had this, then I could say, okay, then z is... 4 sine theta. 2 sine theta. Oh, 2 sine, yeah. Perfect. You guys see that? And that would work great. So I need to figure out a way to force another factor of 2 right here. So we need to change our x and our y. So I need to change my x and y. Well, then on the top one, you have x squared plus y squared can equal r squared plus z squared. So you need what? Root 3 over mm. 2? So. OK, yeah, so my goal root two plus nine. is to get a 2 right here. OK. Right? Something we're squared. OK. So if I want to square something and get two, what do I need to square? I want to okay. So yeah, I'm thinking stuff squared, I want two. Mm -hmm. Square root of two. Yeah. Square root. Stuff is the square root of two, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, so where do I want that square root of two? Root two cosine. Beautiful. So if instead of putting cosines over here, right? Mm -hmm. Oh. Okay. If I scrap cosine and say, okay, cosine was close. What if I do root 2 cosine theta and root 2 cosine theta? Okay, see that? That's kind of a clever trick yeah. because now I can exploit my trig identity. You guys see my trig identity down here? Mm -hmm. So now that I've jammed this 2 in here, I actually I get, get this, yeah. and so z can be sine, sine of theta. 2 sine of theta. Or two sine. See that? So you can just manipulate it. So now I should check, right? Does this thing actually work? So is y equal to x in this parameterization? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, is x squared plus y squared plus z squared 4? You built it that way. I would hope so, right? Mm -hmm. So let me check. So I need x squared, that's square root of 2 cosine theta squared plus same thing. Mm -hmm. Square root of 2 cosine of theta squared plus 2, two, sine, sine, theta. two sine theta squared. 2 sine theta all squared. And I'm wondering, hey, is that 4? Yeah. Yeah, you get 4. So I get 2 cosine 
squared theta plus 2 cosine squared theta plus 4 sine squared theta is 4. Yeah. Wondering, maybe. And you get 4 cosine squared theta. Yeah, I can exploit the trig identity I remember, right? Yeah. So check. Check, check. So this is, in fact, the thing you wanted. There's your circle right there. Cool. Okay. If you want to just go around it once, how many times does this thing go around the circle? Infinitely. Infinitely many. If I only want to go around it once, just those five. numbers. Probably yeah. zero to two pi. Oh. Okay. For the theta. See that? Mm -hmm.